Hello everyone, this is Cynthia on Embracing His Word. Well, it is certainly my pleasure to be able to speak with you today. I have an exciting topic. It is spiritual warfare, secrets to praying for your spouse. I believe that it is utmost importance that we as believers learn how to intercede and pray on the behalf of our spouse. Now, I have I have been married for 32 years. If I had not learned early on the importance of praying and doing spiritual warfare and in the behalf of my spouse, I can say that my marriage probably would not exist today. So I'm thankful for God placing it in my heart that I should humble myself and begin to just intercede and to pray on the behalf of my spouse. So the first secret that we want to take as a petition before the Lord is that if your spouse is, does not know Christ as, a, as his Lord and Savior and you are a believer in the Lord, you want to start interceding on the behalf of your spouse. And so the scripture in 1 Corinthians chapter 7, verse 12 and 13 says, Satan, who is the God of this world, has blinded the minds of those who don't believe. They are unable to see the glorious light of the good news. They don't understand this message about the glory of Christ, who is the exact likeness of God. So we must understand and perceive that when there is, a, there is an unbelieving spouse, just as the scripture says, there is a blinding over their mind and over their spirit that they cannot perceive the truth of God's word or the glorious gospel. So what you want to do is begin to take authority over the God of this world that have blinded your spouse's mouth. And so I pray, oh, this is a sample prayer. I pray along, I would pray along these lines. Heavenly Father, I thank you for your mercy and grace. I lift up my spouse before you. I ask Father God that you begin to touch and soften the hardened heart, Father, Lord, that my spouse has, and that you begin to plow the fallow grounds of his heart, make it soft, tender, open, and receptive to the voice of the Holy Spirit. And I bind the God of this world, Satan, I bind you in the authority of Jesus Christ's name. I command you to loose your hold off his mind, off his spirit, off his will, so that he can freely surrender his life to the Lord Jesus Christ. And Father, I ask that you will begin to loose the light of the glorious gospel into his life. And I thank you for that in the powerful name of Jesus. So this is a sample prayer. Just begin to get before the Lord and get your scriptures and pray the scriptures over your spouse. So that's a secret prayer for number one for an unbelieving spouse. The second secret in prayer, you want to begin to petition the Lord that if your spouse is or he or he is a believer and he already knows the Lord as his savior you want to begin to pray and ask god to be to begin to bring him into a more deeper more intimate relationship with jesus christ that he has a heart for the word of god that he desires to come close to the lord that he desires to just surrender his life completely to the lord and so you want to play, uh, pray along these lines, Heavenly Father, I pray, Lord, for my spouse that you just begin to give him a heart that's after you. Just like David had a heart after you, I want my spouse to have a heart after you. And I pray, Father God, that the word, Lord, when he hears the word, the truth, that it will just penetrate the very depths of his heart, his being, Father. I pray, Father God, that he has that desire, Lord, to come close to you and have that deep and intimate relationship with you. And I thank you for it, Father, in the powerful name of Jesus Christ. And so you can get a scripture that God places on your heart and begin to pray for that close and intimate relationship for your spouse.
The third thing that you want to, the third secret that you want to start praying and petitioning the Lord for concerning your spouse is uh, if your spouse is struggling on his job, um, there may be discrimination. There, there may be uh, spiritual issues such as anti-progress spirits, spirits of rejection, generation of curses. So you want to get specific scriptures in, in reference to these specific things. Um, for example, you want to start reading concerning generation curses and how to break those, finding out how to break those generational curses, how to deal with the spirit of rejection. You know, oftentimes, especially uh, for minorities, when they go to work, they experience quite a bit of discrimination. So you want to be able to pray and intercede on behalf of your spouse, binding that spirit of rejection. And loosen favor, the favor of the Lord over him. Uh, loosen wisdom into your your spouse's life. That everything, every decision that he has to make, the wisdom of God is in it. Also, you want to begin to pray and ask the Lord to to gird up his heart with with strength, that he will not yield to temptation. And also pray for a hedge of protection concerning discouragement and depression. So when your spouse go to work, you want to already planted that seed of prayer over him, asking the Lord to protect him emotionally and spiritually and releasing the supernatural of, of favor and blessings over his life. And one of the, my favorite scriptures that I like to pray is that, um, Lord, you said in your word that favor shall surround me like a shield. So I pray for my spouse that your favor will surround him like a shield. And also, if he's having difficulties, uh, there's a particular scripture that talks about that when our ways please the Lord, he will make our enemies behave. So you want to pr pray along those lines, getting your scriptures and standing on the word of God. And the next thing, uh, you want to petition the Lord, the fourth thing, you want to begin to petition the Lord uh, to give your husband godly friends. We become like the people we spend time with. And so our spouse's friends have a huge influence on their lives. So let's begin to ask God to give our spouse's close friends who are pursuing Christ out of a pure heart. And that we would spare one another on toward love integrity and good deeds so you want to pray along those lines that your husband uh, the friends the people that he associate with are truly godly people also the the fifth thing that you want to begin to just pray and intercede on the behalf of your husband uh, is praying for uh, your husband's divine uh, your husband's protection from physical, mental, uh, mental, emotional, and spiritual temptations and attacks. You know, the enemy always wants to uh, strategize to bring some type of attack. But if we uh, get ahead of the enemy by daily spending time in the word and lifting up your spouse before the Lord, God can provide that hedge of protection all around about him. And the next thing, the sixth and final thing, you want to pray that your husband will be quick to confess and repent from his sin. The scripture says, for if we confess our sins, God is faithful and just and will forgive us our sins and purify us from all unrighteousness. So let's begin to pray that our spouses are, are walking with humility, willing to confess uh, their, their sins, willing to humble themselves under the mighty hand of God so that God can move powerfully and effectively in their lives. And so I have one more thing that I would like to add. And the final thing is, 
Pray that your spouse would carry the mantle, your husband would carry the mantle of leadership in your family with joy, grace, and wisdom. And so, uh, wives, make sure that you honor and you respect your spouse. Make sure you carve out that time daily to lift them up before the Lord. So these are key uh, things that you as a spouse need to uh, take before the Lord and petition the Lord in your spouse's behalf so that your husband and your family will be truly blessed. So I thank you for the opportunity to speak into your life. I thank you. I want what I want you to do is make sure you subscribe and also click the bell so you can get my new content. I look forward uh, look forward to speaking to you again. I would most definitely will do other videos along this line. So make sure you subscribe and be blessed.